Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net. This will be in the description below. And then once you're on getpaint.net, go to get it now. Download now. And then free download now. Like that. I already have paint.net installed, so I don't need to install it again. And then in the description below, there's also going to be a bunch of paint.net plugins that you need to install along with a video on how to install paint.net plugins. So I suggest that you watch that. And once you have paint.net and all the plugins installed, you can just open up paint.net, go to file, new, uh, file, new, and then make the width a thousand and make the height a thousand, and then click OK. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to look for a wallpaper you want to use, a background. So I already have a wallpaper I'm going to use. It's, it's from League of Legends. So I'm just going to open it up like that. And then once you have the picture open, press Control C. Go back to the profile picture and then press Control V and then select keep canvas size like that. And then just uh, zoom out and then pos reposition it. And then uh, I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to put it right here. And then just deselect it once you're done positioning it. And then after that, add a new layer and we're just going to go straight to the text. So uh, go to your text tool and then uh, type the first part of your the name. So I'm going to change the font to Friday the thir uh, Friday 13. Uh, this font will be in the description below for you to download. And then I'm going to make the font size like 192. And then type in the first part of my name, Timmy, like that. And then go to your magic wand tool, hold shift, and then left click on the text. So then it selects everything. And then look for a color you want to use. I already found a color, which is like this uh, turquoise color. And then just copy the hex like that, press Control c swap colors, and then go to the hex and paste it in. And then make the V like a bit darker like that, something like 69, and then just swap colors again. And then after that, go to your magic wand tool, select it like that, and then go to the gradient tool, and then hold shift, and then just drag down. So it creates this gradient like that. So, uh... Just hold shift and drag down like that. And then deselect it once you're done. And then uh, go to effects, photo, and then glow. Bring down the brightness. Uh, I'm going to do something like this. Negative 81. Click OK. And then go to effects, object, and then drop shadow. And then uh, make the drop shadow color black like that. And then I'm going to bring down the blur radius a bit. And then bring up the widening radius to something like 9. Click OK. And then I'm going to do the second part of my text now. Add a new layer. And then uh, swap colors. And then make this one white. And then make the other color gray like that. And then uh, go to the text tool. And then click anywhere and type in the second part of your name. I'm just going to put it right there. Go to your magic wand tool. Hold shift and then left click so that it selects all the text. Go to the gradient tool, and then just left click and drag down like that. So it creates this gradient. Deselect it. And then go to effects, photo, and then glow again. And then uh, I'm probably gonna do the, use the same settings. So six, negative 81, and 10, click okay. And then go to effects, object, and drop shadow like that. And then I might bring up the blur radius a bit for this one. So something like that, like uh, 2 and 15, click OK. And then go to Effects, Object Align, and then Center Horizontally. And then do the same thing for the other text, Effects, Object Align, and Center Horizontally. And then go to the, go to the top layer and just merge it like that. So it becomes one layer like that. And then after that, I'm just going to rotate the text a bit to like the left. So I'm just going to do something like this, and then deselect it, and then I'm just going to center it in the middle perfectly. So go to Effects, Object Align, and Center both, like that. And then after that, add a new layer, 
move this one below the text go to the color picker right here and then just like left click on the text after you like picked the color it should appear right here the color that you chose so go back to the new layer you made and then go to the paint bucket tool and then have the color you just chose be your primary and then just left click and it should look like this and then go back to uh, the background uh, and then press Control shift u like that and then uh, make the saturation zero so that it turns the picture black and white which is what you want and then leave everything else the same so click ok and then go back to uh, the blue layer like that and then go to layer properties so layers and then properties and then change the blending mode to something like multiply or color burn like that you can also do like different blending modes as well like color dodge or uh, reflect but I'm just gonna leave it at color dodge I mean color burn you can play around with this you can play around with this but I'm not going to so click OK and then go back to the background and then you can blur it out if you want so go to effects blurs and then do motion blur right here like that and then do something like mm, I'm just gonna bring it up to like 15 so click OK actually no I'm gonna do something like 10 only so click OK and then after that uh, add a new layer and then go to effects render and then border like that and then make the thickness like 20 and then click OK and then go to layers and then properties again and change the blending mode to something like multiply or color dodge probably gonna stick with multiply and then just lower the opacity like that click OK and then you should be done your profile picture should look like this so if you want to save your profile picture go to file save as and then save it anywhere on your desktop and then name it whatever you want I'm just gonna name it profile picture like that and then change the save as type to PNG or a JPEG doesn't matter I'm just gonna go with PNG and then click save click OK click flatten and then you should be done so i don't really have anything else to say so with that being said i'll see you guys next time and peace out